Welcome to I God Today, your daily reflection, and I am Father Sony Sebastian, a Divine Word missionary priest. In the Gospel, Luke clearly acknowledges that he himself never saw Jesus. His Gospel was written at least 50 years after Jesus' death and resurrection. Yet, he wants to assure his friend that what he writes is accurate and is based on the experiences of people who did know Jesus personally. At the same time, it is important to, re- to remember that Luke, like the other evangelists, who have differing versions of the same events, is not writing a biography. Luke's intention is not to write a biography of Jesus, but is to tell us the meaning of Jesus' life, death and resurrection for our personal lives and why we should accept and follow Jesus as our King and our Lord. So followed by this, we have the first public appearances of Jesus in his hometown of Nazareth. It's the it's solemn inauguration of Jesus' public life and mission. Jesus' public life will be a single direct journey from Nazareth to Jerusalem, the focal point of the story told by Luke in his Gospel and in the Acts of the Apostles. And it is in Jerusalem, the city of peace, that Jesus will suffer and die. It is here that he will rise to life and become our Lord and our Savior. And it is from here too that his disciples will go forth to every corner of the world with the good news. Jesus reads a passage from the prophet Isaiah. It was a passage about the coming Messiah. After reading the passage, Jesus is announcing that he himself is that Messiah. He applies the words of the prophet to himself. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. They are addressed directly to the materially poor, those in prison, the physically blind, the oppressed, and the exploited of the world. The message for them is one of hope, of healing, and of liberation. This will come about not by some miracle, but by the transformation and aligning themselves with Jesus. But the message is surely to be understood symbolically as well, so as to include all of us. It is in mutual giving and receiving as one body that we enable each other to experience and the enrichment, the vision, and the freedom which Jesus wishes all of us to have. And finally, the main ingredient that Jesus highlights is compassion. Law is essential for human rights and freedom, but compassion is what makes the true difference, true difference between law and our life. So let's be understanding and compassionate to each other. 